Hi, welcome back to Scripture Explorers. I'm James. And I'm Aria. And we're the Scripture Explorers. What an amazing story. What story are you talking about? Sarah and I were just discussing how the temple was rebuilt by the Jewish people in Jerusalem. You mean when King Josiah rebuilt it? We already talked about that. This was actually later on in the Bible, after Josiah's death. The Jewish people had been captured and living as slaves in the land of Babylon for about 70 years. Living in slavery was hard enough, but the people had also watched as their beloved temple in Jerusalem, the temple they'd worked so hard to build, was destroyed by the invading Babylonian army. Can you imagine how hard that would be? To watch the temple, which you'd built with your own hands in honor of Heavenly Father, be torn down like that? Oh, I remember a story like this. Yeah, we learned about it when we studied Doctrine and Covenants. Well then, I guess it's time for you to tell us a story. What happened? It was during the time of the Restoration, when Joseph Smith helped bring the Gospel back to the earth. The saints were very poor, but they still gave everything they had to obey God by building temples in Kirtland and Nauvoo. What an incredible act of faith. But then the people had to move west, looking for a safe place to live. And they had to leave their temples behind. They must have felt much the same way that the Jewish people felt to lose their temple in Jerusalem. Later on, it was good again. When they got to Salt Lake, they built another temple there. And this time they didn't have to leave it. Something like that happened in Jerusalem, too. The king of Persia conquered Babylon and helped to free all the Jewish slaves. They were able to return home to Judah and Jerusalem. The Persian king, Cyrus, also wanted to help them rebuild their temples. When the new foundation was laid for the temple in Jerusalem, the people were so happy that they shouted with joy. There were many enemies of the tribes of Judah and Benjamin who heard about the temple and tried to stop it from being rebuilt. It took a long time and the help and prayers of another righteous king named Darius but eventually the temple in Jerusalem was completed. Heavenly Father even cleared the way for a Jewish leader named Nehemiah to rebuild a similar temple in the land of Judah. Their enemies tried to halt that work as well. Sometimes it seemed like the harder the people worked to rebuild, the harder their enemies worked to stop them. But Nehemiah encouraged them all to put their faith in God, and in the end, the temple of Judah was finished too. The people could worship the Lord in their own temples again just like the saints and the Salt Lake Temple. It's still there today. We've been there. Then it was a joyful ending for both stories. You two should tell us stories more often.